Hi my dear students welcome back to my class SSLC 2022 board examination preparation science examination final revision video series na upload maartta idini so already nanu introduction part alli helidini so what are the different videos which i will be uploading for your science examination preparation so apart from that already crash course and upload maadidini apart from that you get lot of videos in my channel if you are new to my channel i request you all to subscribe to my channel and share the videos with all of your friends okay so whatever the content i am sharing with you is definitely going to help for your final examination to score 70 plus marks okay without wasting much time in today's video i will be teaching you the chemical equations because chemical equations are very important when we look at both the model question paper as well as the state level preparatory question paper so especially in state level preparatory question paper it has been asked for 3 marks okay so chemical equations can be asked in different ways they can give the equation and ask you to balance and they can give the word equation and ask you to convert into chemical equation or simply they can give you an equation or ask you to identify the type of equation or they can give you the half of the equation and ask you to fill the other half other half part of the com complete chemical equation so there are so many ways that they can ask the question from this particular chemical equation part so without delaying much let us understand the chemical equations from the first lesson so when we look at the first lesson so there are so many chemical equation 20 plus chemical equations are there in the first lesson do learn all the chemical equations it is going to help you so first chemical equation is magnesium when it is burn in the presence of oxygen it forms magnesium oxide this is a very simple equation which is given based on the activity in the first lesson okay when you burn magnesium you get you know white color dazzling light i have told you that already i have uploaded the lab activity videos you can check those videos also in my channel so when magnesium is burn in the presence of oxygen it forms magnesium oxide so when it is not balanced it looks like this magnesium combines with oxygen and it forms magnesium oxide so this is the unbalanced equation so i have written all the equations after balancing only learn the balanced equations itself so how to balance this so this balancing which i am teaching you now will be applicable for any kind of chemical equation same method you are going to follow see first and foremost what you are going to write is you will be writing the number of you know the elements present in the reactant side as well as in the product and elements in the reactant will be same in the product also so now there is magnesium and also there is oxygen in the reactant side similarly in the product side there is magnesium and also there is oxygen so now it is time to write the number of atoms present in both reactant as well as product look at the magnesium there is only one atom of magnesium when we look at oxygen there are two atoms of oxygen similarly in the product side there is one magnesium atom and also one oxygen atom is present now it is time to balance balancing is a trial and error method dear students you have to understand see sometimes when you try to increase the number of atoms in the product side reactant side may not be balanced because sometimes number of atoms may increase in the product compared to the reactant okay so it is very you know easy to balance see what are you going to do is look at the atoms present in both reactant as well as product see there is one atom of magnesium one atom of magnesium magnesium is already balanced look at oxygen there are two atoms of oxygen in the reactant side but two uh, here only one atom of oxygen is present in the product side it is a time to balance oxygen atom so to balance oxygen atom you have to write two in front of o so in which place will you write will you write here no this is wrong always you will write the number in front of the whole compound not in between to balance any particular atom that is the one important thing if you are uh, learning for the first time you have to note it down so to balance the oxygen i want to write two in front of mgo so now what happened this two is now applicable for both mg and also o okay mg go apply aagte oxygen go apply aagta ide so 2 into mg is now 2 mg so earlier there was only one magnesium atom and one oxygen atom so now what happened 2 into mg is 2 mg 2 into o is 2 o similarly so now if you look at oxygen atoms are balanced what about magnesium 
magnesium atoms are increased in the product side compared to reactant side. Now it is the time to increase the number of magnesium atoms in the reactant side as well. Just write 2 in front of mg to balance mg. So what happened 2 into mg you get 2 mg. So remove this one, remove this one and what happened now you got 2 magnesium atoms as well. So now both the reactants and products are balanced by having same number of atoms. Dear students, this is applicable for all the chemical equations. Whichever the chemical equation you balance, it's a trial and error method. Same method you will follow for all. Okay. Firstly, you will write the number of elements present in reactant and product followed by number of atoms and keep on balancing. Okay. Very easy. So, this is the first one. Second one, see, zinc combined with sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas is released. This is already balanced. No need to balance. And if they ask in the examination which type of chemical reaction it is, this is an example for the single displacement reaction. As you all know that, see, zinc combines with the sulfuric acid. So, you can check out like this. I have thought in the crash course also. So, consider zinc as A, hydrogen as B and this is sulfate. SO4 is sulfate. So, it is C. A always combines with C, dear students. A always combines with C. Okay, so now zinc combines with the sulphate, what is formed? Zinc sulphate is formed and hydrogen gas is being liberated or released. So this is an example for single displacement reaction. In examination, they can also ask you to define single displacement or displacement reaction. So this particular equation says more reactive element displaces the less reactive element. Okay, very simple. You have to note down. Moving to next question is iron combines with the water to form iron oxide and hydrogen gas is liberated. So I will also help you to uh, balance this equation. This is already balanced. In the examination if they give iron combines with the water. Okay. So how do you balance this one particular equation I will show you. Remaining equation you only try. Okay. So one simple equation I have already explained. This is one more. Okay. After this whichever the equation which I am showing you you try it so that you will get. So, this is the simple equation which is not balanced. How to balance? Write the elements present in the reactant side as well as in the product side. So, there is iron, there is hydrogen and also oxygen in the reactant side. Similarly, in the product side also there is iron, there is hydrogen and also there is oxygen. So, now it's time to write the number of atoms present in both reactant as well as in the product. See, there is only one atom of iron, two atoms of hydrogen one atom of oxygen. If you look at here, you can identify. When we look at the product, there are three atoms of iron, four atoms of oxygen, two atoms of hydrogen. Anyhow, hydrogen is balanced now. So now it is time to balance the iron and also oxygen. See, where you have to balance, you have to balance now in the reactant side. As number of atoms are more in the product side, you have to balance the reactant side. So to balance iron, just write 3 in front of Fe. 3 into Fe, you get 3 Fe. That's it. Very simple. Remove one atom here and write 3. So now iron is balanced. What about oxygen? So oxygen is now combined with the hydrogen. So you should not write 4 in between the hydrogen and oxygen only to balance oxygen. It is wrong method. Where do you write? You will write in front of the whole compound. Okay. So just now write 4 in front of this Okay, if you write 4 in front of the water, this 4 is multiplied for both hydrogen as well as for oxygen. See how, how, how is it multiplying? You can check out 4 into 2, 4 twos are 8. Now, when you are balancing oxygen, number of hydrogen atoms are increased. Okay, 4 into 2, 4 twos are 8. So, earlier there were 2 atoms of hydrogen, now it has become 8. What about oxygen? 4 into oxygen, we got 4 atoms of oxygen. So now we could balance iron and also oxygen, but we could not balance the hydrogen because number of hydrogen atom have increased. They have increased in the reactant side. So now it is time to balance the hydrogen in the product side as well. So as there are 2 atoms of hydrogen in the product side, so you, you need how many? You need 8. So if you multiply which number to this 2, you get 8. 2 4s are 8, right? So if you write 1, this is 1, 2s are 2, you get. So if you write 2, 2, 2s are 4, you get. If you write 3 in this place, 3, 2s are 6, you get. But now you have to write 4 because you need 8 atoms of hydrogen. So write 4 in front of hydrogen so that you get 8 atoms of 
hydrogen in the product side as well okay i think dear students you are getting the clear idea that how to balance the equation so this is the trial and error method so one simple equation i have taught you now and one little bit difficult one i have taught so by looking at these two equation you can balance now any chemical equation which will be given in the exam okay so very important you have to learn to balance the chemical equation yes so now let us move for the next one so the next one is carbon monoxide when it is combining with the hydrogen it forms the methanol this is methanol you know that c c c h how do you say it as methanol c h 3 o h if there is only one carbon atom it is meth as there is functional group it is all so meth plus all it is methanol very important and very easy to name it also so moving to next chemical equation calcium oxide combining with the water we get calcium hydroxide and a huge amount of heat is released this is an example for an exothermic reaction very important dear students next calcium hydroxide combines with carbon dioxide it form calcium carbonate and water is formed actually these two equations are a continuous one see when you add water to calcium oxide you get calcium hydroxide and this only equation is an example for exothermic and the formed calcium hydroxide when it is been you know uh, combining with carbon dioxide when we pass carbon dioxide to this calcium hydroxide we get calcium carbonate here carbon dioxide is been passed to calcium hydroxide so that we can check the presence of carbon dioxide because when we pass carbon dioxide to calcium hydroxide we get we can see that the lime water turn milky white okay so next chemical equation is c carbon combines with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide this is an example for combination reaction hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water this is also an example for combination because according to combination two reactants combine to form one single product next here methane when it is burn in the presence of oxygen we get carbon dioxide and water and methane i think this is a repeated equation both are same and then ferrous sulfate is heated when it we heat ferrous sulfate we get ferric oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide this is an example for the decomposition reaction so here many things are been asked so one is to balance they can ask they can give the word equation and ask you to write in the form of chemical equation or they can ask when ferrous sulfate is heated name the toxic gases released the toxic gases released here are sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide very important moving to next calcium carbonate when we heat it when we heat calcium carbonate we get calcium oxide and along with that carbon dioxide is also released so these are all very important moving to next when we heat the lead nitrate we get lead oxide nitrogen dioxide and oxygen so at this particular time you also have to know so when we heat the lead nitrate brown color fumes are released those brown color fumes are nothing but the nitrogen dioxide and this is an example for the thermal decomposition reaction moving to next silver chloride when it is kept in the, the sunlight we get silver and chlorine example for photolytic decomposition reaction similarly silver bromide when we keep under sunlight we get silver and bromine this is also an example for the photolytic decomposition reaction very important then iron when it is been kept in the copper sulfate solution we get iron sulfate and copper this is an example for displacement reaction here iron being more reactive element displaces the copper from the copper sulfate solution and very easy as i told you see you can take this in this form iron as a and copper as b and sulfate as c a always combines with c so we got ferrous sulfate and copper is been displaced similarly when zinc is combined with copper sulfate we get zinc sulfate and copper is displaced here name the element which is more reactive if they ask zinc is been no uh, considered as more reactive element because zinc displaces the copper from copper sulfate solution moving to next lead when it is kept under copper chloride so we get lead chloride and copper is been displaced here also lead is being more reactive element it displaces the copper from the copper chloride solution sodium sulfate combines with barium chloride barium sulfate and sodium chloride is been formed this is an example for double displacement reaction 
according to double displacement reaction dear students you know that exchange of ion takes place here sulfate is an ion chlorine is an ion they both are exchanging okay so as a result of it barium sulfate is formed and sodium chloride is formed you can see here and this can also been represented like this sodium you consider it as a sulfate you consider it as b and barium you consider it as c chlorine you consider it as d so a always combines with d b always combines with c you can observe here sodium is combining with chlorine to form sodium chloride barium is combining with sulfate to form barium sulfate very important this is an example for double displacement reaction moving to next copper when it is heated in the presence of oxygen we get copper oxide so copper is generally brownish in color when we heat the copper the brown color copper will turn into black color very important so now on addition of hydrogen for the copper oxide we get copper back along with the formation of water very important zinc oxide when it is combining with carbon we get zinc and carbon monoxide so this equation looks like this zinc oxide combines with the carbon to form zinc and carbon monoxide and here you are seeing this is an example for redox reaction according to redox reaction what happened reduction and oxidation both takes place you can see zinc oxide is uh, losing the oxygen so it is reduced to zinc carbon is added by oxygen so now it is oxidized okay so this is an example for oxidation reduction reaction so we will call it as redox reaction final equation is representing about the photosynthesis where carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it forms the glucose and also releases oxygen in the plants and water is also a product formed during the photosynthesis so these are some of the very important chemical equations which you need to focus from the chemical reactions and equations dear students so in the next video i will be teaching both acids bases and salts along with the metals and non metals two lessons chemical equations together i will i will be teaching you apart from that we will focus towards the golden questions as i told you in the introduction part which is important for your final examination okay i hope you found this video useful so e video nimge use agide anodadre do subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed and video na maximum nimma friends jothege share maadi so this video is going to benefit many students because all the you know uh, the equations are balanced so i have also taught you how to balance the equation so if you know how to balance you can balance any equation in the format which i have been taught to you in this video okay so thank you so much for watching all my videos and supporting me my dear students so let me meet you in the next video where i'll be teaching with the chemical equations from the next lesson until then take care all the best for your examinations